due to the public hearing on the deferment process for businesses and groups that have concerns about the new plastic reduction by law which went into effect sunday january first the purpose of this hearing is for the board of health to hear public questions and to help guide you through the process of applying for a deferment i now turn the hearing over to emma dragon who will moderate for the evening uh, welcome and thank you all for coming um, the hearing is now open i do also just want to say that this is being recorded um, for purposes for um, regulatory uh, the public hearing will proceed in or orderly fashion and i would like to ask that your cooperation and following procedure. Everyone present will be given an opportunity to be heard. Minutes will be taken for the record. If you're gonna ask a question and come to the microphone, please state your name, business, and address. Speak slowly and clearly. If only, um, oops, only one person at a time will speak. And the purpose of the hearing is for us to hear public questions and consider pertinent facts retaining to the deferment process and take action concerning the process. Um, before hearing from the audience, uh, we'll request that the board and committee representatives provide some background information on the issue. So I'm gonna start with Jack. So going back in time, it was May, um, 2022 that this was voted on and accepted by the town meeting board uh, at the Springtown meeting. Uh, it had been prepared by members of the climate change committee uh, based on other plastic reduction acts from around the state. Um, it was voted in and about a seven month delay before it went into place and then it went into place this past January. Um, we did just quickly, if we can. that the bylaw focuses on our checkout bags, food service wear, and straws. Um, so in terms of the procedure, which is what I can speak um, to for the deferment process by the Board of Health, that upon written application to have the public hearing, which is what we're here now for, um, that we can accept applications for the deferment. Um, and they can last for up to one year, um, expiring on December 31st of 2023. Uh, they'll be individually reviewed and everything like that um, at the Board of Health meetings and we'll respond accordingly. Um, the application is very easy. I'm gonna go a couple slides ahead. So in addition to checkout bags here, we have some options that are available that would be approved options per the bylaw. This speaks to the category of disposable service wear, um, the types of recycled plastic that are in that, or the compostable materials that are approved. And then we have some possible options here on the right-hand side for people as well. Straws have to be compostable or compostable reusable per the definitions. And one of the great questions that I know came up when I was attending in town meeting is, is, what if I have a disability or anything like that? And there is a caveat to this bylaw where polypropylene straws may be available for, to consumers, but only after the consumer's request. So those still could be available to the consumers if they need them. In terms of applying for the deferment, uh, we worked really hard on making the application pretty simple um, for everybody and for ourselves as a Board of Health. I know we're learning about this new implementation together um, with this new bylaw. So those are due by January 31st, can be emailed to my town email address um, or mailed to the Board of Health. They need to include 
um, how the compliance with the bylaw would cause significant economic difficulty, or that there's no reasonable, readily available competent substitute right now. And um, once again, we'll be reviewing the deferment applications at the next Board of Health meeting after all of the applications are due. Um, the maximum term is to this the end is not of this what calendar I, I year, need. and decisions are um, immediate and final. So that's pretty much it for the procedure part of it. Um, we are going to open now for our public questions and comment. Um, we're going to have individuals uh, come to the mic if they have questions in person first and then virtually if we have um, people participating virtually. And we would ask that if they're on Zoom for electronic devices, not telephone, that they raise their hand if they're able to do that. Um, and then if the period for speaking is going to be two minutes per person. If individuals feel like they need more time with that, we can circle back for that. No worries. But we just wanted to give an opportunity for everyone to speak. Alex, can we see who's in the uh, She needs to get off the uh, chair. Reach here first. Sure thing. We're just waiting for a screen to upload here for our virtual participants. In the spirit of time, when we do open to questions, um, if questions could try to be non-repetitive um, and add some substance, that would be great. Uh, us as representation here at the front are, are gonna hold responses. We're gonna write things down until all of the questions have come forward, um, so that way it can be done in an effective manner. Uh -oh. Oh, it did. <clears throat> and once again, the intention of this meeting is to discuss the deferment application process. Um, the bylaw is already in place, and we're really looking forward to um, working with our establishments, uh, nonprofit and other vendors in town with all learning more about plastic reduction, implementing it and did being here in 2023. Oh, I did not, Jane. Thank you so much. When people come to the mic, if they could introduce themselves with their name, their business name and their business address, that would be terrific. Do we have any questions from people attending in person? I'm not seeing any, but we can circle back if someone has some questions moving forward. Um, so now I'd like to go to our virtual participants. Donna, Donna I, I think we just can't hear you. No? Oh, there we are. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, my name is Donna Dickinson, and I'm the Food Service Coordinator at the Pioneer Valley Chinese Immersion Charter School. And um, so we are on... Um, we have a vendor that works for us for the food. So we get all our food in, of course, and plastics. <laughs> and uh, there, right now, of course, there's no other way we don't have a, um, a kitchen or any type of way to get food that we make ourselves. So our vendor comes from out of town. They're from uh, New York. And um, so far we do get, like I said, everything in plastic. Um, we do have, you know, the straws. Um, so I'm just wondering, I, excuse my dog. Um, I was looking through the bylaws. And um, I think it, it's here somewhere. Um, Sorry. Oh, E4. Um, now, are we exempt because of that? Because it is a vendor coming into us and bringing the food and or plastics, I should say. So 
So I know initially when I talked about um, how we were gonna organize this uh, question and answer part and that we were gonna hold our responses till the end, but I'm feeling like with the amount of individuals that are here participating to us, we can open it a little bit more um, and respond to each question as they come up. So I think that's great. Uh, take this one. Thank you, Jane. So yes, you are exempt from this because it is prepared out of town. We would encourage you to ask your vendor to consider coming into compliance, but there's nothing that we can do to have them do that. We're all concerned about the planet. That's the bottom line. Okay, so I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of new to all this, so I don't have to fill out anything for you for the town. Okay, all right, great. Thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> thank, thank you, you for, for your question. Yes, thank you. Um, next participant, I'm going to call on Ron. Hi there. Um, my name's Ron Kohler. I'm calling from the town of Ashfield. Um, I'm considering introducing a band like this in our town. And I thank you for joining the many towns in Massachusetts who are doing this. That's, that's really very responsible. So thank you. But my question is, can I reach out to one of you on the panel? I don't know your names. I don't know your numbers or your emails. And um, ask you a few questions because I'm in the early stages of this. I've looked at several towns. Uh, you, you folks have a, have a really nice bylaw. And um, I'd just like to chat it up with one of you who is involved with this, but want to know your names and your phone numbers or your emails, if that's possible. Do we have a chat? Jack, will you work yeah, with him? Yeah, I'm happy to take that on, Ron. Take um, his number and then you'll get hold of him. Yeah, okay. um, I'm, I'm wondering if we can send it back via chat or something. Yep. Yeah, no chat. No chat, no, no chat. disabled Just chat. Just have him give you his phone number and then okay. you contact him. Yeah, Ron, okay. give me your phone yep. number and I'll get back my, to you. So my name is Ron Kohler, just like it says. And my phone number is 413-834-0071. And Ron, just so you know, I'm a school teacher during the day, so it would be one of these days after school. That's fine. Thank you for responding. Um, so now I'm going to call on Home Depot. Hi, um, my, my name is Kate. I'm the operations manager at the Home Depot in Hadley on 350 Russell Street. Um, I had already submitted our request for a deferment just to, because we're waiting for the new ones to come in. But I know that you had said that you're not going to be doing, you're not making a decision until you, after this meeting and you meet with the town and everything like that. Should we refrain still, keep the plastic off the floor and just till that decision has been made? So, I mean, I We, we pulled it all right on New Year's. Yeah, I so, think that's an individual corporation decision. Um, you know, you have submitted your deferment application. Certainly I can't speak to whether it'll be approved or not until we've met as a board of health. Um, so that's up to Home Depot as a corporation, but I, I don't feel like the temperature is that Hadley is looking to be swift and hard with this. Um, we're all looking for here to reduce plastic use yeah. um, with the implementation. Um, we are really looking forward to communicating with our corporations and everything and other organizations in town, um, creating more of an open dialogue. I know myself, um, I've seen some signs in town um, and we've gotten some messaging about signage in town. Um, and I've been working with some other large corporations in town to, as the, we implement this law and the little like intricacies about it um, for the public that are coming forward. Can I jump in? Thank you. What are you hearing from corporate? Like how doable is it uh, for now if you move away from plastic? So well, the only thing is right now, so every store is individual until it's been determined by the town or whatever. So as of right now, we've submitted and said, hey, this town is now headed this direction. So they, they go in and put the approval in for us to be able to order the other option. So we've already ordered the other option. It's just now a waiting game of when it's coming in. So we just have, we had ordered like previously to this. We have, we come in, it doesn't come in like one or two boxes for us. It comes in like a pallet size situation. So we have a, some excess bags to use 
and we were like, we, we pulled everything, but we have some to still use, and we haven't been using them because we, we didn't want to not comply. We want to make sure we, we're behind this. We think it's a great idea, so we want to keep it. <laughs> we just had excess, and we were like, oh, wait, we didn't want to put it on the floor. So if, it, if we could go through it and use some of it, we're glad to use it. We just didn't want to do it until we had the approval to do it from you guys. Yeah. Um, that was awesome. I know. If it's fine, um, it would be okay if we just used it. One of the things that we were going to be looking for in the applications with with using up a current supply, right? Because I we know a lot of places will have that because um, we like to buy things in bulk. It's cost effective and certainly for operations as well. Um, is how just an estimate or guesstimate about how long it would take um, to dwindle that supply down that you currently have um, until you're able to change over to the new source. Um, so that answer certainly doesn't have to be during this meeting, this hearing. Um, that can be individually with you and, and myself um, through the email that when you submitted the application um, in terms of those clarifying questions after the hearing as a Board of Health, we decide we might want more content to the applications. Um, but as of this time, if, if you're able to hold it off the floor on, until the decision is made, I, I, I know that would be my best conscious, but, but certainly I'm not your corporation. So it's hard to speak to that. No, nope, that's fine. We can do that. I was wondering. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Are there any more questions on Zoom? Well, once again, um, you know, as a group here um, and a called a multifaceted group between representation from the select board when it was approved at town meeting, climate change committee that spent so much time um, and efforts making this bylaw come together to bring to town meeting, um, and then now. Board of Health being involved in the application deferment process. Um, I just want to say thank you for everyone who came um, and participated or might be watching this later. Um, certainly email or call with questions. Um, and now we would like to uh, close the hearing if there's no more questions. Oh, yes. Why don't, can you come to the mic and say your name, business, and address? My name is um, Jorge Sosa, and we are from Mitierra and Henry. And you know, my question is, you know, like, um, for packaging food to go, you know, some things are more difficult and more expensive to get. You know, like we're trying to do our best and get, mm -hmm. uh, you know, but you know, for you know, like to go containers and many uh, items that we need. And you know, unfortunately, you know, the. Uh, the bio, uh, you know, the biodegradable, uh, you know, like to go containers, you know, they're not, they don't, doesn't seal as good as, you know, the regular plastic, and sometimes, you know, like soils can leak, and so it's kind of difficult, and you know, so we're trying to do our best, you know, we got, uh, you know, like forks and bags and, you know, packaging, but you know, some things are more difficult, and it's just, you know, and it's hard because, you know. Uh, order online, you know, go to the warehouse. So is that just gotta, you know, keep buying uh, different place, places and, and uh, you know, for some of the item, the packaging item is, is gonna be difficult. So, you know, we're still, we're working uh, on it, but, uh, and uh, we want to know like, uh, you know, the uh, experience from other businesses, you know, if we can uh, share information and what they're doing and how can we help each other, you know, because to us, you know, there is, we, as, as I said, we're trying to do our best, but is, is you know, some things are going to be more harder to get, you know. We appreciate your position there, and I think your suggestion of sharing with other businesses where they're finding supplies mm -hmm. is really useful, and we can try and help mm -hmm. compile a list of mm -hmm. places that you might find available. Yep. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you're um, visiting Garcia's in Amherst, they're using aluminum mm -hmm. as their takeout containers. Yep. They're pretty large, but that's what they're using. Mm -hmm. um, and um, Hot Table is using paper. Yep. 
So what I'm talking is just about like the little, you know, like for sour cream or little sauce container, little sauce. So uh, little salsa. Yeah, the, yeah, the little size, you know, they're uh, plastic, but the thing, you know, the, the, you know, the ones that you uh, approve, you know, they doesn't seem as good and they're hard to get. Like almost no, yeah. nobody have it around here. You have to get them online and then they, they leak. And, and that may be one of the items that there is no available substitute yet. Yeah. So, you know, like, well, just as you said, you know, the, you know, the bigger containers, you know, those are either aluminum or, you know, there is all, all paper or, you know, they're, they're, but, you know, some things are difficult to get, you know, yeah. like, like I said, you know. Just, so this sounds like a perfect thing for your hardship deferment application. Yeah. You, you know, like, that, I, like I say, you know, like if you, uh, somebody wants to order, a, you know, you know, a drink to go, you know, the, the, uh, you know, you give one of those plastic, uh, you know, the, um, the ones that you approve, you know, it, it's, it's just leaking, you know, you're going to grab something and you're going to be leaking everywhere, you know, because it, unfortunately they don't seal as good as plastic. I understand that. Now, there are some plastics that are recyclable that are absolutely mm -hmm. fine for this. Yeah. So, Kathy, she's another member of the Climate Change Committee. Um, as far as I know, River Valley Co-op, for all their... T oh, I'm Can you Kathy introduce Nelson. Yourself? I live in Hadley. I'm on the Climate Change Committee. River Valley Co-op is using all compostable stuff for all of their takeout. Mm -hmm. So that might be somebody yep. to get in touch with about those... Yep, definitely. The other thing is the tiny containers aren't recyclable anyway because they're too small. Anything smaller than a doorknob, they say just throw in the trash. Yeah, it's like a two ounce... Uh, so, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the only thing that's being harder. Well, no, at this point, that's, what, that's what is being harder for us to get, you know. Yeah, so maybe check with River Valley. Yeah. That, that's all yeah. I was going to yeah. suggest. Okay. Are you talking about, like, for the salsas? Yeah, you know, like say, you know, sometimes, you know, they ask for a little sal uh, yeah. sauce to go Extra on the salsa and, and, yeah. and, uh, or dressing or, and, uh, you yes. know, is, it, it, uh, like I said, some things are easier to get, you know, mm -hmm. as you say, you know, we've been, you know, working on it, and we have most, well, we have all of it, but some things are different, you know. Yep. And, you know, the whole point behind this is to reduce the plastic, however yep. we get there, mm -hmm. and we know it's going to take some time, and that's mm -hmm. one reason if you fill in one of those deferment forms, mm -hmm. you'll have some of the time that you need. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, thank you. Thank you thank for you. coming. And I'm not seeing, oh, do you have any? Questions? Yeah, I have a question sure. I just did not, uh, so my name is Hood. I come from Tutti Frutti. We use a lot of plastic cup. So I try to understand the law here saying is it all the cup that number one, five, and two, right? That we can use it. Yeah, correct. Okay, that's what I uh, try to understand. And most of the cup, it's all in that size. So perfect, excellent. The only thing we don't have it, it's a plastic straw. We use a big plastic straw, and on the box itself, it say recyclable. So I don't know it's a part of those. They don't have a number. Can you take a photograph of the box and submit it with your? Request. Sure, I can that do that. That would be easy, yeah. and then we could pursue that. Yeah, because it's all it's all in the box itself in plastic. They won't write. Yeah. The recyclable, all <laughs> that. But that's what I'm saying. I'm wonder, wondering about that because we use so much of those, and we cannot use the the pepper. Pepper, we don't have too big. It's, it's not a small a big one. Yeah. Diameter. Yes. Yeah, the I, diameter we don't have it though. I did look up um, Dunkin' Donuts. Um, does is using in some areas a compostable straw okay. that's a, a certain um, derivative their blue color um, ours doesn't have them yet but they did have them like available when they were doing the bobo tea yeah. for a short period of time that's what we do yeah <laughs> <laughs> so we're most concerned of them so um, I know the cup for yeah. us I checked the number all that it seemed to be okay for us already but except that's yeah. straw, that's the main concern for you, so. Yeah, and I, I know, I, I can't speak to other people at the table, yeah. but even just having this hearing, having these conversations, discussing other options that are available to help our community and our environment around us um, is exactly the whole intention of this. Um, 
I know that um, I've enjoyed the short time that I've been working um, with these three um, and the Board of Health on this with being back on, but really I'm trying to not be too spirited, but it's going to be a great thing, however we get there. Okay. Thank you. Thank You're you welcome. for coming. Do you want to circle back and see if Joe or Jim have questions? Oh, that's a great idea. Are there any additional questions on the Zoom? We see some other guests online, Joe or Jim. Do either of you have questions? So um, I think we're going to close the meeting then. I would like to thank everyone for their attendance tonight in, in person woo, and virtually through Zoom. The Board of Health is looking forward to working with everyone on this new process. I would now like to request a motion um, to close from the Board of Health member to close the hearing. Margaret, are you able to make a motion? Yes, I make a motion that we, um, that we adjourn the meeting. Thank you. Um, second, so that will be the end of this hearing. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you very much.